Okay, I want to uh, say something about my friend Jimmy Kimmel, who I am very proud of, because he brought this issue into American living rooms in a way it wouldn't have done before. And uh, Jimmy, I'm glad your baby's getting to be okay. And, and I'm... Uh, and I'm flattered you named it after me. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, Jimmy said, if your baby's going to die, and it doesn't have to, it shouldn't matter how much money you make. I think that's something, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, we all agree on. And unfortunately, <laughs> that's not true. Right. And that needs to be said. That's not true. One side wants to tax rich people so babies don't have to die. And one side is mostly against that. And this lets Republicans off the hook. Let's not fuck around with this. We are not on the same page with this. This is not a squabble. No, where it's about, it's about just values. two sides really being... It is about values. I mean, what we've seen, this is a clarifying week. Because what this vote showed was a kind of willingness to embrace naked cruelty. People will die. People, will, people die, will die, and they know it, and it's a price they're willing to pay. We are not all on the same page. We don't all agree. We are not all on the same page. We do not all agree. But I think one of the things we have to remember is 20 Republicans voted against this bill, and the truth is we also know... 20 some, out of... Yeah, but we also know that it was actually the strategy of the House Republicans who are trying to knit this deal together, frankly, to get the Freedom Caucus once again, thanks to gerrymandering. They have undue influence in Congress outside of the percentage of popular vote in the states they're representing. So they're not actually reflecting a lot of their constituents. And that's what we have to remember, particularly as we're thinking about how we go into the 2018 Yeah, election. I mean, I don't know if Jimmy Kimmel's moving monologue will change people's minds about this, but oh, I, I do think... Oh, I think it already has. But I also think losing your health insurance might change one's mind about this. Yes. Being unable to have your kids covered when they're in an emergency like Kimmel's baby. But the problem with that, mind. with saying that, is, is and I know he's not a political guy especially, is that that's what makes people not vote. They think, well, they're all the same. It's just a petty squabble. That's not you know what we need? We need a, some kind of outside deal maker who'd come in and shake things up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and let me give you Joe Walsh, as he's an ex-congressman, a Republican, who answered Jimmy. He said, sorry, Jimmy, your sad story doesn't obligate me or anybody else to pay for somebody else's health care. And that is their view, that it is a product, not a right, and in fact, health care is a stick to stimulate you to do better so you can buy your own health care. This yeah. is the same thing with Donald Trump about why, why couldn't we have solved the Civil War? <laughs> you know, because one side thought that black people were farm equipment that could sing. Well, it's actually many of the <laughs> states of the Confederacy that refused to expand Medicaid under Obamacare. Right. Yeah. But what I would say about your point, Bill, which, I, I, again, I think we have to remember, is it's not just Jimmy Kimmel. I mean, Ben Jackson, for those who may have seen Senator Markey, uh, had a constituent who actually posted his own video in his daughter's hospital room. She's in a hospital bed. He said he's been sitting there for 101 days and that if this goes through the Senate, that he's going to watch his daughter die. So the reality here is that it's not just Jimmy Kimmel. What Jimmy Kimmel did is give a much bigger platform yes. to the voice of a whole bunch of people who yes. have all and the I'm same so, fears. Yes, and I'm so glad he did. I don't buy it, though. Look, we're violating what we just witnessed in an election. Jimmy Kimmel, whether we like it or not, represents at least on, elites on the East and West Coast who voted for Hillary Clinton. They had years to determine whether they liked Obama. They didn't. They voted for somebody else, and there's a huge quantity of red states that said... Screw you. So we look at this and hope that this man represents the, the, an undercurrent in America that wants change. And the answer is they wanted change in a different direction and they voted for it. So we don't have to like that's, it. That's, but just, that's just wrong. Yeah, so it Trump, may be wrong, Trump but it's promised, true. No, it, Trump no, promised coverage for everyone and got right. elected on that basis. That's I think when people right. start losing it, that's it's right. not going to be good for him. That's right. This is inconsistent with his campaign pledges, as, as many of his positions are. And secondly, even when you look at what happened in the election, he really won this election by 80,000 votes. You yeah. mean, this notion that there was, a, first of all, almost 3 million popular votes to Hillary Clinton. Of course. But secondly, it really came down to three states, Wisconsin, Michigan, yeah. and Pennsylvania. The grand total was about 80,000 that delivered the unfortunate electoral college to him. So that is not quite the landslide that it, it was reported. All right.